Okay, today I'm today I'm making a uh, yangsen yangsen zhou. Uh, is actually basically is to maintain healthy body uh, porridge. So what does the porridge consist? Uh? Uh, mainly is use pork ribs. Uh, this is millet. Millet is xiaomi. Yeah. Uh, after cooking is a, a bit like a glutinous rice is starchy so I'm using it to boil you can use this to boil uh, cook into rice or cook into porridge and this is uh, my jasmine rice which I wash and soak in water same with the millet I wash and soak in water this is about 20 gram of uh, wolf berries I'll be soaking in hot water first to remove the heatiness uh. Uh, the first uh, round which uh, is like blanching just soak it in hot water and throw the first round of the water then after that uh, here I have about eight uh, red dates uh, it's very easy just use a pair of scissors to remove the if you can't get the red dates that is uh, removed the seeds is removed uh, if no seedless uh, dates, then you will use this way. Use the scissors to cut. It's very easy. Right? You see the this is the head and the tail. Uh? So basically, is that you cut at the side way. So from here, you also remove the core. Using scissors, you don't have to be afraid that you cut your hand or you know, cut your fingers. This is more safer way. Okay, I'm blanching the pork rib here. There is about uh, 300 grams of pork ribs. I blanch it to remove every impurities. Then after blanching, I will wash it. And this water will be discarded. Huh? If we do not use this water because it's easily cloudy. And this is the wolfberry. I soak it in hot water, and this hot water will be discarded eh? because it is uh, the first round we don't take because uh, sometimes the 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 farmers or the the wholesalers they will put a uh, sulfur, so it will turn yellowish. So it's not it's said to be uh, no good for health. So we soak the first round with hot water first to remove the impurities. And uh, it is said that if you choose, try to buy the big one from Xiaoming, and then you can see the the top part, uh, top part that is stick to the trunk one. Then it's supposed to be good product. But usually, I try to soak the first round and discard it so that it's improved to remove the the sulfur and every heatiness from it. Uh. These are the pork ribs which are are blanched already. Blanch and wash a few times uh, to remove all the impurities first so that you will have a clear soup base. And the red dates. We will boil this for 5 to 10 minutes first before we add any rice. Okay, I have boiled the Red dates and pork rib for about 25 to 30 minutes. Uh. So now I'm adding the soaked rice into the soup. So if you like to have uh, poison and beans to be added in, please do so. Uh. Or even long yen. If you want to cook it to the sweeter version, then you add some long yen. For me, I'm cooking the savory version. Uh, so I'm, uh, I've already added 8 dates. So the moment you add rice or, or 
the millet then you have to stay around to stir so I will let the rice cook for about 5 to 10 minutes between 5 to 10 minutes then we check again then we will add the millet right? it has been uh, boiling for 10 minutes after I put the rice you see it's already open uh. then we will add in because the rice will not uh, stick to the bottom because there's a lot of soup but when the moment we put millet uh, we must be around to stir because millet is uh, more sticky <coughs> millet is uh, more for the people who have uh, stomach ailment or for people who need to build up the immune system so millet is a very very good uh, food huh? and at the meantime because uh, wolfberry is also easily cooked it can be actually eaten uh, like that but because we want the sweetness to go into the soup uh, wolf berry is good for eyesight and good for nourishing our internal organs also this dish is uh, recommended by a Taiwanese uh, TCM for those people who want to build up uh, good eyesight and also to eliminate all the uh, bad uh, <coughs> uh, I mean uh, poor, uh, poor health because we have poor health. This is a pork rib so that uh, you have some of the bones uh, intact that it, it, when you boil it, it increases the calcium and the mineral absorption also. The moment we add in the millet and the wolfberry, uh, just have to boil for about uh, 8 to 10 minutes. Yeah, you stand around uh, occasionally stir to make sure the millet doesn't stick to the bottom of the clay prod. Huh? Okay, by 10 minutes later, it should be cooked and off the flame. Okay, can you see the, the millet and the rice, right? So millet is very small, it will cook easily. So what we do is the moment we put in, bring it to high boiling. Then lower the heat to simmer it, or you can literally for clay pot you can uh, clay pot and stainless steel pot you can literally off it, you know. Because with the internal heat, it will continue to cook. Okay, this um, porridge is exceptionally good for uh, building up the stomach lining and the throat lining, yeah. Due to its stickiness from the millet. So now this porridge is already done. So I will cover it and we will have it later for 